This video shows how to find limits at infinity. Um, the limits of a function's f of x when x goes to infinity exist if this function has at least an horizontal asymptote. Let's look at the uh, following functions. It's a function f of x, and this function has two horizontal asymptotes. One is y equals 1, and one is y equals negative 1. And if you are about to find the limit of functions f of x when x goes to positive infinity, it should be 1. Because as x goes to positive infinity, the function values approach to 1, but would never touch the value y equals 1. And if you want to find the limit of this function when x goes to negative infinity, then similarly, the limits should be negative 1. Because as x goes to negative infinity, the function values approach to negative 2, but never touch negative 2. So these two horizontal asymptotes help you find the limits of the functions as x goes to positive infinity infinity or negative infinity. Now, we uh, can discuss the limits uh, at infinity of rational functions. As you know that rational functions or functions is in this form. It's uh, quotients of polynomial f of x and another polynomial of uh, function g of x, where f of x is a polynomial function with n is the highest power, and g of x is another polynomial function with n is the highest power. So there are three cases for n and m. So in the first case, if n is greater than m, then the limit of the functions f of x divided by g of x when x goes to infinity is undefined or doesn't exist, or it can be positive infinity or negative infinity, depending on the sign of the co leading coefficients of f of x and g of x. In the second case, if n equals m, then the limit of these functions will equal the quotients of a and b, where a is a leading coefficient of f of x and b is a leading coefficient of g of x. And the last case is when n is less than m. When n is less than m, then the limits of these functions is just going to be 0. So if you remember in pre-calculus, we learned about rational functions if n is less than m, then y equals 0 is the horizontal of the quotient functions. When n equals m, then the constant line a divided by b is the horizontal of um, these rational functions. And when n is greater than m, then um, this rational function will have an oblique asymptotes which leads the limits of the functions either go to infinity positive infinity or negative infinity now let's look at the first example so this is an example that asks you find the limits of a rational functions when x goes to infinity I look at this functions first it's a rational functions because you have a polynomial functions in the numerator and another polynomial function in the denominator. Also, one thing that we observe is the highest terms of this functions is x squared. So since we know the highest term is x squared, and in order to find this limit, you want to divide this rational functions by its highest term. So you take each element of the functions divided by x squared, you simplify it. And after simplifying this functions right here, 
this is the result functions. And then this is the time when you can actually plug infinity into axis because in limit context, a constant over infinity is zero. So if you plug infinity into this axis here, you get zero as the result. Thirst, the limit of this function is two over one, which is two is the leading coefficients of the numerator functions and one is the coefficients of the denominator functions. The next examples ask you to find the limit of the function when x equals x goes to infinity. And this time, this rational functions here has the highest power term is also x squared, which is the highest power term. Um, then again, you want to divide this every single term of this functions by its highest term. So you divide every element here by, uh, by x squared and simplify it. And the result functions is going to be this functions. And you can see that now is a time we can plug infinity into axis because we can simplify some of the terms. So if you plug infinity into axis, these four terms become zero. And the results is going to give, so three is the only non-zero term, is the only constant term left. And then three in the num numerator. And the denominator was washed out and is zero. So then remember, in the limit context, three, a constant over zero will give you infinity. So the limit of this function is infinity. The last examples, the last example asks you to find the limits of the function x goes to infinity when you have, again, another rational functions. But in this case, the highest power term is x to the 4 is the highest power term. Okay, And then as a rule, we want to divide everything by x to the 4 and simplify it to have a simpler functions. Okay. So the result functions is this functions and now again it's time for us to plug infinity into your axis. And after plug in infinity into your axis, you simplify one, two, three, four terms which resulted in zero as the va values in the numerator and four as a value in the denominator. Thus, the limit of this functions here is zero. And you can see that the power of the denominator is greater than the power of the numerator.